Hi there, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be looking at how many black holes are there in the universe. So the answer to this question basically depends on how strong of evidence can you make to accept something is a black hole. Astrophysicists generally agree that a compact object with an X-ray binary system is shown to be more massive than three times the mass of our Sun. This compact object is generally known as a black hole, and astrophysicists call them dynamically confirmed black holes. But then again, if you do accept a less strict standard of evidence, there can be many, many more black holes within the universe. This does include additional X-ray binaries such as Cygnus X1. This is the mysterious object at the centre of our galaxy. And this could also be the same for a lot of other galaxies with luminous centres. For example, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey measured the distance of more than a million galaxies and quasars. A large fraction of these galaxies and all of the quasars are thought to contain a supermassive black hole. Given this huge number, there is no plan to actually name these individual black holes. There are just far too many. There might be billions or maybe even trillions of these quasars and supermassive black holes. It all depends on how you define the black hole and also depends on how many galaxies and quasars you can find. So there's two different ways to describe how big something really is. These two different ways of describing can be how much mass it has, or how much space it takes up. So first, we can talk about the masses of black holes. There is no actual limit in principle to how much or how little a black hole can have. Any amount of mass in principle can be made from a black hole, if you compress it to high enough density. To get this mass into high enough density, you need a lot of gravity, especially at its core, to push the matter in so it can clump and get even denser. Most of the black holes are actually produced through the death of massive stars, so we expect these type of black holes to weigh as much as a massive star. A typical mass of such a stellar black hole would be around about 10 times the mass of our Sun. That's 10 to the power of 31 kilograms. 10 to the power of 31 means 1 with 31 zeros after it. That's a pretty big number. Also, many other galaxies may harbour these extremely massive black holes at their centres. These objects could weigh about a million times more massive than our Sun. That's 10 to the 36 kilograms. That's a bigger number. The more massive a black hole is, the more space it takes up. So in black holes, the radius of the horizon and the mass are directly proportional to one another. This is the radius of the gravitational collapsing of a body when it becomes a black hole. This is known as a Schwarzschild radius. So for example, if one black hole weighs two times larger than another, that means its radius is two times larger. And for a black hole with equal mass to our Sun, the radius of that black hole would be around two miles. So for a typical 10 solar mass black hole, it would have a radius of around about 20 miles. And if you really want to go for the supermassive black holes, a black hole about a million times the mass of our Sun, at the centre of most galaxies, it would have a radius of around about 2 million miles. So 2 million miles sounds like a lot, it's a big number, but actually it's not very big if you look at it in cosmological terms. So for instance, the Sun has a radius of around about 450,000 miles. So that supermassive black hole has a radius of only four times bigger than our Sun. 
So a supermassive black hole isn't actually very big spatially, but its mass is absolutely astronomical. But if you want to go for the most massive and biggest black hole in the known universe, it has to be S5-0014-81. This is a black hole and quasar located in the constellation of Sapphius. It is 10,000 times more massive than the black hole at the centre of our galaxy, and that's equivalent to 40 billion solar masses. You really don't want to get this black hole angry. Just step back and enjoy the view. So I hope you enjoyed the video on how many black holes there are, and also how big can black holes be. And as always, if you've enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment, and if you've really, really, really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.